Hello and welcome to Grey Mayor's Tale and another five minute photo adventure. So good afternoon and welcome to this absolutely fantastic location. So why have I come here? Well, I've just spent a week up in Scotland and I was driving home again down the M74 and I was looking for somewhere to take some pictures. Uh, and I found, about, I found out about this location from the Photograph in Scotland book. So I thought, yeah, I'm going to make another slight detour. So I'm glad I've come up here because this morning it's been a bit heartbreaking for me. Um, as I was driving up from my um, holiday in Argyle, um, I was trying to get someone to the airport so I couldn't stop. But I noticed that there was an awful lot of low-lying mist about, especially as I drove past Kelchurn Castle, it was shrouded in mist. There's lots of uh, mist all over the water. And then when I got to Loch Lomond, uh, it probably was a cloud inversion, so I reckon if I'd gone up Ben Lomond, I would have seen um, lots of cloud all hanging over Ben Lomond. So I didn't have time to stop, I couldn't stop. So as a photographer, that was a little bit heartbreaking. But when I've come to this fabulous location, just look at it. It's about... I don't know, about a half hour walk up from the, um, the car park. It's quite steep in places and it flattens off and then you get to this lock. So I'm, I'm hopeful I'm going to get some nice pictures. There's still some cloud in the sky and a bit of snow in the hill. So let's see if we can find a good composition. So there's a lot to shoot on this walk. Um, on the main centre up, there are lots of waterfalls. There's a really big waterfall and then there's lots of smaller cascading waterfalls as you uh, follow the path up. If I've got time, and I am a bit pushed for time, I will try and take some photographs on the way down. But I've made the ascent to the lock. Um, as you can see, um, I've got some really nice hills in the background, a bit of snow and some uh, hanging cloud there. What I'm going to go for, it's going to be a pretty simple composition, as I tend to normally do. Um, I've got that tree out there and that small rock around. I'm probably going to try and use that in the composition somewhere. I noticed that there's uh, one, there's that island, another one, and there's just another one poking out there. So I've got this nice curve of three rocks. So I might take a, uh, a composition with that first, and then if I pan round a little bit, there's another little uh, sort of... Uh, outcrop of land there I might swing around there and try something a little bit different but it's absolutely phenomenal up here very 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 nice um, I think in terms of uh, setting the camera up I'm probably going to go for a long exposure it's a little bit windy up here just trying to smooth out some of that water um, and we'll see how we get on but um, let's take a shot Okay, that's me got the shots of the lock that I came up for. I think it's time to head back down now and hopefully on my way back down I'll try and take a picture of one of those waterfalls. Okay I've come down from the lock and as you can see I've got this waterfall here behind me and this is the one I picked. So there are lots of waterfalls all the way down this um, kind of Glen or Valley here. This is not by means the biggest one, there's a really big one just down there. But I like this one because it offers me a good composition. It's got a, a decent fall and then it goes in into a couple of pools. I think that's going to make for a quite an interesting photograph so I'm going to give the big waterfall a miss and I'm going to go down and take a picture of that one. Okay that's me back down in the car now so I thought that was an absolutely fantastic location Unfortunately, I was in a bit of a rush. I'm not sure how well my pictures have come out. But, you know, even two things, I guess. One, as a recce to come uh, and find out more about this location. I think job done. And two, just getting outside, getting up on a hill, discovering a new location. It was a really fantastic time I spent. I spent a little bit too much time up there. So um, I've got a bit, bit of a big drive ahead of me. So I really had better get cracking. But I hope you enjoyed this location. Hope you've seen something that you might might inspire and, and come here yourself. I think there's a lot to shoot here. I think getting up there with the right conditions at that lock would make for some really um, good pictures. And also there's lots of these waterfalls, as I said, up there all the way down as well as that big waterfall. So I think you can spend a bit of time on the path picking out features of the waterfalls and, and other bits along the path there. So I think this is a really great location. But unfortunately, I've got to hit the road. But if you did like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. I do try and read and reply um, to everyone's comments. 
And of course, if you want to see more content like this, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you want to receive a notification as soon as I post up a new video, remember to click on that bell icon as well. But until the next one, I'll see you then. Mm -hmm.